Hey guys, how's it going? Jamie here. Got some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay for you guys today on the map Solar. Solar, Solar, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm using the ASM1 uh, SMG. Uh, apparently it's the highest damage SMG, but I find that to be total bullshit. Uh, and I'll get into that reason in just a second. Uh, I just want to say this gameplay, I get 32 kills. It's the most kills I've gotten so far in a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay. But I got 10 deaths, and that is because... Obviously, this game is super chaotic, and every time you get a kill, you're gonna die. Um, I was fortunate fortunate enough in this gameplay to actually uh, not die every every time I get a every time I get a kill. I mean, ha happened quite, uh, quite quite a few times in this gameplay, but not as much as I usually well, as, as much as, as it usually happens. Um, but yeah, I mean, is it me or do I always get a supply drop uh, whenever I die? <laughs> it feels like that always happens for me, like. Every time I die, I always get a supply drop. It's like so weird. I don't know why. I don't know why they do that. <laughs> it's like they're kind of rewarding you for dying. <laughs> so it's kind of it's kind of weird. Um, but as you can see, the my running animation is weird, and that is because um, I'm using the gun ho perk, which you unlock about level 32 or 31. Basically, that means that uh, you can sp you can shoot while sprinting. Uh, but that isn't the main reason why I actually use it. The main reason I use it is because the gun is already up when I'm about to shoot someone. So if I run into someone and my gun's down because I'm sprinting, uh, that doesn't matter because my gun is already up. Uh, so I can just shoot them. So I wouldn't have that sh that short delay um, of, you know, bringing my weapon up to shoot them uh, and then finding out as soon as I get my gun up, they've already shot me in the face. <laughs> so I mean, that's one, of the reasons, that's one of the main reasons why I use this... Um, and, and also, as you can see, I've got the, uh, the laser sight on it, so that means I've got uh, uh, reduced hip-fire accuracy. Uh, well, I mean, no, sorry, not, not reduced hip-fire accuracy, uh, reduced hip-fire uh, reticle. So I can actually, so you know, it's, it's easier to hip-fire, which I think is a pretty good combination. I get quite a few uh, cool little hip-fire moments, because, um, I mean, that's, I think this gun is very, very good for hip-fire. I'm also using the foregrip because that helps with the vertical recoil, and foregrip actually does do something, because in previous Call of Duty's, hip or the, uh, the foregrip hasn't done anything for any gun, like, the, 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 the attachment is broken, but now it's actually fixed, um, it, does make a, it actually uh, does make a massive difference, uh, massive reduced of, uh, recoil whenever you have the foregrip, so that's one of the reasons why I also use it, because this gun has a lot of recoil, pretty much all the SMGs in this game have a lot of recoil, which is quite disappointing, because I would have thought the SMGs would be pretty good to use, but this game is so AR dominant, uh, everyone uses an AR or they use a sniper rifle, it's pretty sad. So I would have thought this game would have been a SMG and AR uh, dominant game, but it turns out it isn't, but oh well. Um, <laughs> okay, so into the topic, alright, well, in my opinion guys, SMGs need a massive buff. Uh, uh, the reason why I actually went out and got this gameplay, um, and I was fortunate enough to get 32 kills, um, it's because I wanted to I wanted to show you guys how much of a buff these SMGs need. Um, I mean, I guess in a way this gameplay isn't isn't the best uh, uh, what's it, the, the best explanation as to why I think they should need a buff. Uh, because I get quite a, quite a few kills and I'm uh, quite lucky in uh, getting dropping some guys. Uh, as you can see, I'm just picking these dudes off. <laughs> but uh, in, in in many other games, uh, I've I've just you know. It's super, super weak. I'll be putting 50 bullets into them and they would just turn around and shoot me with the assault rifle. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and, I mean, there are some moments in this gameplay where I'm just shooting them constantly and they're just not dying. I mean, I may even shoot them in the body and everything and they just do not die. As in, look how many hit markers put into that guy. Look at how many. And I only just survived because of my teammate. But just look at all You see that? All those hit markers. They did absolutely nothing. And it really pisses me off because, you know... You go to the extreme lengths, you go across the whole map because you've died by some guy shooting you in the back. You go across the whole map and try and you find someone finally, shoot him in the back, and they just don't die. And it's really, really sad because, you know, it's just, so many times, so much time is wasted, but also you want to play with the SMG because it's making it, you're fast, and it's just really nice to use. I mean, look, it's a pretty cool gun, isn't it? And you want to use it. <laughs> Unfortunately, they do absolutely no damage at all. Um, but I, And that's one of the reasons why I'm using the Gun Hope Hook because I actually have somewhat of a. Uh, a chance versus these guys because my weapon's already up, so I wouldn't have to uh, aim my weapon up and then uh, shoot them with 50 bullets and they won't die. I actually have slightly a slightly upper hand. Um, and also hip fire, I, I feel like it, it. I feel like it's way better with hip fire than you actually aiming into them because when they when they aim in, when they when you aim in, I feel like you get reduced damage. I don't know why. Just I feel, I feel like it, I think it's just a weird placebo effect. But yeah, just in just really, I mean. 
the SMGs need a massive buff. I really think they do. I pretty much all the SMGs, maybe except for the uh, the Vector, the uh, the Akimbo Vector. I think that may, uh, I think that, that could probably stay the same. In fact, I don't even like to use it because it's a Kimbo, and I don't think you can take a Kimbo off. But uh, look, look at how many bullets I put into that guy. It takes you fucking ages to try and kill someone with, with an SMG in this game, and it's it, it sucks. It really does suck. Uh, but I reckon when they get a buff, uh, I think more more people will be using them. Um, I just hope that they're not going to be super good, so then they get a, a damage reduction, and then, oh, oh well, you know, <laughs> so they go back to what they were before, and then no one uses them again. I don't want that to happen, because that would really suck. And actually, guys, the, just so quickly, uh, sidetrack, <laughs> uh, the, the bombing run on this gameplay, uh, or at least on, in the game, um, the score strike, it's very, very good, actually, because, um, well, especially on this map, anyway, because not many people are indoors. And as I got a triple kill there, and I've, I think I activated it one other time during this game, I got quite a few kills. It's very, very useful, and I really recommend you guys try it out because many other kill streaks in this game, or the way, sorry, score streaks in this game, are very good, unfortunately. Uh, this, I, I, I think the reason why they're not adding so many kill streaks is because they want to make the game balanced, which, uh, you know, look, look, look back at uh, Black, Black Ops 1. That game did not have many, uh, I, I mean, it didn't have many flaws. I mean, there were a few obvious flaws, like, you know, Ghost was really, really like overused and uh, it was pretty broken, um, and you know the, the lag in that. But it had so many kill streaks and it was so awesome. But now in in in, in earlier, oh sorry, in uh, yeah later Call of Duties, sorry or earlier or later. Uh, well, in most recent Call of Duties, we've been getting less and less uh, kill streaks slash score streaks, which is really unfortunate because score streaks or having lots of them are really awesome, so you have more of a choice. But now you're really limited to only just a few, which really, really sucks. But anyway, yeah, the bombing run's really good. I really, I really reckon you guys uh, try it out. It's very, very awesome. But yeah, just, uh, just you know, just to uh, let you know, let you know again. I reckon uh, that the SMGs need a massive buff. All of them. I mean, especially the ASM one, considering it says that it's got the highest damage in the SMG category. I find that to be total bullshit because that feels as weak as all the other ones. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the commentary, share this around so people can see and hear this. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary. Have an A1 day.